Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights 2. Last episode, we uh, did some preparations and it seems Lord Nasher led his forces to try and buy us more time. Unfortunately, Nasher was wounded. In addition, we found that Amanjero had actually gone out and uh, basically gone to Chandra's own to Chandra's home for a while. It seems like we actually have some things we can talk to him about. I think maybe we should. We might be able to. We got a lot of. Uh, yes. Yes, I think perhaps we'll go. No, not that. Fall in. I think we'll go find him. I think maybe we'll be able to get some more information out of him on things. I remember he's in the basement, so let's go down there. I'm curious. Oh! Oh, there's, uh, someone. You have always been a friend to us, great captain. We are honored to return the favor in the battle with the shadow that hungers. I suppose that's something that can be a name. Kistrel, do you have anything for us? Waves its mandibles at you. No. Yes. All right, Amanjero, I have no some questions. You said you completed the last part of the ritual of purification. I did. But before I could re now, like it or not, we need okay, each other. Okay, what does your ritual succeed. power allow you to do? The ritual I have gained seems to allow me to create a web of light. Should the King of Shadows split his form into many shadows, such a web is useful. Any shadow spawned from him that enters it will be caged, unable to get out. While such a power has a limited use outside his fortress, it will be necessary for us to beat him. His powers don't seem useful to, uh, to me in general. It may seem that way, but I believe the closer we get to the King of Shadows, the more use we will get out of them. Here, now, we may only be able to use them once every day before their power is expended. The closer we get to our enemy, we may be able to use them much more and with a greater effect. All right, then. No doubt. Um... Where did you get the Sword of Gith? I see little harm in telling you now. I think there is some measure of trust between us. And if the blade is lost again, then you may need to seek the same sources as I. The Lower Plains have watched since evil existed, and since before Gith led her rebellion against the Mind Flayers. And when Gith had achieved victory, it is known she went to the Lower Plains to seek allies and did not return. So you went there in search for answers. Yes. And one such set of eyes, a Beatazu prince known as the Still Lord, sees much indeed. He lies imprisoned in the Lower Plains, and he can do little more than watch from his cage. And so I sought him, and he was able to reveal to me the location of the blade. And he wanted nothing in return. There was a price, yes. There was a price I was willing to pay. And it was little more than I had already paid for the service of my other infernal allies. In fact, it is through the Still Lord that I gained the allegiance of Mephasm. For while the Still Lord may not move freely, Mephasm may. The Lower Plains do not grant gifts. Surely there must have been some other reason. Perhaps. But defeating the King of Shadows was my goal, and I needed the blade. But that is all. With that knowledge, I was able to find the blade and carry on the war. Did you find a trace of Gith? No. Gith and her blade had become separated. Gith's fate remains a mystery to me, and I did not ask the Still Lord where she walks now. All right. No doubt. One other question that I'm curious about. Uh. More yeah, about your the past. with little training, I was able to do spells well beyond my years. How did you gain years. the power you have now? Or In my case, it did not take. When that. That is nevertheless. I can make the ball so. 
I thought that perhaps my position might give up. I saw yes, our shadows were growing. I There's and I one I question that the no oh, damn it. Why did you just now to reveal yourself? Here it is. My How did you get free? Let us simply say oh. I had no doubt. Okay then. I have only Where were you being Let held? Us leave it for okay. another time. I guess that's all we can get out of him. Very well. Let us report back to uh, Naval. I don't believe there's anything more that we can do here. Let's take me someplace. The courtyard. We must speak with Naval. Alright. Naval. The keep is ready to stand against the Shadow Army. Then let us strike against the enemy before they surround us. Oh. Oh, there we go. My lord, you should rest. Gather your strength. I must still remain strong. Any sign of weakness now to our own troops, and the King of Shadows will have gained another edge on us. He marches on Crossroad Keep, and it will not be long before his forces are at our gates. But you, Knight Captain, and your efforts here, you have served Neverwinter beyond the call of duty, risking your life not once, but several times without hesitation. If there is anything that I think will be the light against this shadow that comes against us, it is you and the fortress I have granted you. But on to the matters at hand. What of Waterdeep? Of the Lord's Alliance? Have they answered our call? Forces from Waterdeep and our other allies are on their way, but I do not know if they will arrive in time. Our walls will hold until help arrives. I wish I shared your confidence, Knight Captain, but the power this King of Shadows seems to possess is something I do not think these walls can easily stop. You must hold this keep against these shadows. You have raised this place with your own hands. Now you must keep it together and lead your men in battle. I will not fail you, my lord. We should waste no time. Please meet us in the war room, Captain. Of course. That's all we have there. All right, to the war room. Okay, that's not the war room, that's the dining room. That's the war room. We are ready to start whenever you are, sir. Very well, let's begin. Let us start. There is much to cover. And so that is the latest report on the walls and the troop strength. Kana, what news from the scouts? The scouts have returned, Captain. The enemy has been sighted on the outskirts of the keep, and the bridges on the South River have already been captured. Well, now, we all know that whoever holds the bridges holds this keep, or at least the way into it. If they try and march up the mountain pass, we can make it hard on them, but with the loss of those bridges, then the advantage is theirs. We need to fix that now, before they get any farther. Bishop is right. We need to act. The defense of this keep needs to be our first concern. We need time to set up blockades within the courtyard and ready the walls. We cannot allow the enemy to cross the river. If we act quickly, we may be able to recapture the crossing and destroy the bridges. Doing so would limit the enemy's m movements and work in our favor. Since when do undead worry about crossing water? Certainly not the shatters or spirits, sir. But vampires cannot cross without aid, and the slower creatures, like skeletons or ghouls, would be swept along the current. The land often has such defenses against those that, no, that are no longer of it. Even now, it is our ally. We are fortunate that the King of Shadows needs to keep its fighting force together, one of the few certainties we can count on. What else can we count on? That the battle will come at night. They are creatures of darkness, and many must remain there. Know that while this is true of many of the greater undead, such as the blood drinkers and the shadows, not all of them are harmed by the sun's light. Blood drinkers? Vampires, not you. Still, these greater undead form the commanders of their army, and the lesser undead will most likely not attack without their guidance. I recommend that we exploit this weakness whenever possible, Captain. The King of Shadows marches to the Keep regardless. How would this help? 
Captain, every moment we gain is a moment to prepare a more effective defense. With our allies still on the march, the difference of even a day can be crucial. How much time would this buy us? A few days at best, Captain. Enough talk, then. We should set out as soon as possible. Unfortunately, Captain, we do not have many forces to spare. In advance of your arrival, I sent Grey Cloaks to the river. Sending another full complement would be too dangerous to the keep. I recommend taking a single unit with you. A single unit? And how will they destroy the bridge when they get there? I can't very well punch that bridge into pieces. Well, quickly enough, that is. Well, perhaps you could use one of your inventions, Grobnar? Well, if you want to make large stones into smaller ones, you can use a hammer, a giant, or explosives. Ooh, like blast globes. If you give me access to the storerooms, I might be able to create some. Without blowing up the keep, I think. How long will this take you? Well, give me 40 hands, which equates to a score of men, or 40 men with one hand, and I can fashion enough for our needs in, oh, about an hour. What makes you think this will work? Actually, I heard blast globes were used by the Grey Cloaks in the defense of Neverwinter. A peasant's fireball, they called it. Some could even blow up a cottage if placed in the right spot. For once, you are correct. And so is Grobnar. Such globes would be well suited for our needs, provided I do not carry them, nor get near the storeroom while the gnome is at work. Let's do it. Very well, then. We'll set out in an hour's time, though there is still the matter of your soldiers. Your allied forces have not arrived yet, although we have sent word about our situation. With luck, they'll join you on the river. Tell me how the different units are shaping up. Which would you like to know about? Grey Cloak fighters. The Keep's mainstain. Our swordmen are the first line of defense. Uh, Grey Cloak fighters, swords inflict slashing and vulnerable to piercing. They are amongst Neverwinter's finest, some of the best trained troops I have ever seen. You have managed to outfit them with very impressive weaponry. What about the Grey Cloak archers? Your archers are a critical component of our forces, though they are ill-suited for the front lines. Range attack units, bows do piercing, vulnerable to slashing and piercing. They are amongst Neverwinter's finest, some of the best trained troops I have ever seen. Impressive weaponry. Lizardmen warriors. Our lizardmen allies carry ritual spears with a long reach, and each seems to have druidic talents as well. Use spears for piercing damage and long reach can automatically use druid spells. And the Iron Fist fighters? The Iron Fists are hardy warriors. I wish I could give some weaknesses, but other than the fact they have no ranged weapons, their armor is strong, and their weapons effective against most sorts of enemies. Hammers inflict blunt damage, no vulnerabilities. That's it for now. Let's form a group and set out. Which unit would you like under your command? Huh. Well, who am I going to take with me? I think it might be a wise idea to take Casavir with us. His paladin abilities will be good against the undead. I think perhaps we might also want to take Grobnar with us, if he's the one handling the blast globes. Nishka might not be as useful in this case, so I think we might take the construct as well. So the extra firepower would be useful. I think we'll take the archers. We'll find a mage. Very good, sir. Normally we would assign units to your companions as well, but these circumstances call for a smaller force than normal. That being said, who would you like to bring with you? Uh, let's see. I want to bring Casimir. I am honored. I need a loyal blade by my side, and there is no one better. I will defend you and this keep with my life. And who else? Grobnar. I can go? Really? Oh boy, I get to see if these blast globes actually work! I have faith in your ability to cause chaos, Gromnar. Oh, have no fear of that! Chaos coming right up! Then I believe that is it, Captain. We shall ready your men and have them at your side in an hour. When you arrive at the outskirts, you should find a familiar face waiting for you. Your father's. Dagon? He has been invaluable in reporting the movements of the enemy since he arrived. Your father is an excellent scout, one of the best I've seen. Haven't seen me in action, then. Dagon has been reporting on troop movements for some time. He will likely have useful information to share with you. In the meantime, I recommend that you outfit yourself and your companions as necessary. Your men have gathered in the keep in case you need them. I have no need to outfit myself further. 
then we shall do our best to prepare the keep for your return. May the battle go well. Prepare the keep, Kana. I'm counting on you. Of course, Captain. We will be ready. I honestly didn't realize I'd only be going with two men. Sir, we've arrived at the outskirts. With all the smoke in the air, the enemy can't be far. Let me stand in the forefront. I'll try and draw their fire and protect you as long as I can. So, you've arrived. We have little time, for your men fight for their lives as we speak. Father, it's good to see you. Save your greetings. The enemy may soon hold these bridges. You need to strike swiftly if you are to succeed. I have spent some time observing the battlefield. Though your men fight in the fields, the true test will come at the bridges. What have you seen at the first bridge? The enemy has the first bridge well defended. Skeletal archers and shadow priests line the rear, while undead warriors block the bridge itself. How does the second bridge look? They have yet to assemble a strong force at the far bridge. But what I have seen may be deceptive. We're certain a shadow reaver is present there. So tread carefully. Let's not waste any time then. It will be night soon. Farewell then. I will return to the keep. Guard yourself well and move swiftly. Are you not coming with us? My value lies not on the battlefield. No matter how much I wish to remain, Captain, guard yourself and return quickly. Very well. Let's move out. Uh, let me say first, actually. Right, let's move out and do what we can. Already see several people that we need to fight here. Hold on. Sorry, camera was being a bit annoying. It happens on occasion. Alright, let's get in there. Save these gray cloaks. Hold on. I have an idea. No, there's not many of them. I think we'll be fine. Excellent. Captain, we're glad to see you. As always, we're at your disposal. Who would you like us to follow? The influence of each of your companions will convey bonuses or penalties to the troops under their command. For fighters, Casavir. I am honored. Allies of Crossroad Keep, it is my honor to lead you as well. Excellent. Let me take a look at this path. All right, that's not a path we want to take. We want to go this way. This is the way to the bridge. Your eyes open for any others. There, Shadow Priest. Focus on the Shadow Priests. Hold on. I have them all on me, so I have an idea. No, that's not what I want. I want... No, that's a small territory, so... How about Shard Barrier? Yes, that works. That's not what I wanted. Oh no, it is what I wanted. Alright, focus on these Shadow Priests. Get them dead. Excellent. Okay. Didn't look like too many survived that. Let's move on. Another Shadow Priest. A whole bunch of warriors.
focus on the Shadow Priests. Excellent job. Let's keep moving. Get through the skeletons. I'll get to the Shadow Priest. Excellent, that one's dead. Now for the other. Fight on, men! Excellent. Managed to get through the first bridge. There's something over here. Hello! They have a camp. Focus on them. Do what you can. These coffins will likely be a problem. I bet there's undead in them. Excellent. This looks to be the beginnings of a supply camp for the enemy army. The undead appear to have been guarding the coffins freshly brought across the river. With the guards destroyed, you are free to take the items. It would probably be a good idea to destroy the coffins and the vampires within as well. No arguments there. Let's rest up for a second and then we'll take the supplies. There's a bunch of stuff there. Things there. Whole bunch of scrolls. And other loot. Okay, these I don't need. Plus two arrows. Those actually give them Everyone, to you. Follow me. You got a lot of arrows. Yes. We lost a lot of soldiers, it seems. I don't like that. Alright, let me see. Cleric, Druid, Ranger. Can't give that to anyone. Sorcerer, Wizard. Anything I can give to a Bard. Druid. Bard, Cleric, Druid, Paladin, Ranger. Bard, Sorcerer, Wizard. Cleric. Bard, Cleric, Sorcerer, Paladin, Wizard. Bard, Sorcerer, Wizard. Druid. Ranger, Sorcerer, Wizard. Druid, Ranger. Alright. And a quick swap out of that. And also, oh, Ray's dead. That'll go back there. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, that is so great. 
I'm sure that'll be a great help. I am upset that we lost several of our soldiers. Hopefully we can find more further in. There's only two of us fighting? That's not good. Should've rested sooner. off those archers. Alright. Me? Shouldn't you be using one of your uh, bard abilities? Yes. Yeah, that's what it should be. I don't know why you weren't doing that before. Oh boy, this looks like it'll be a fight. Episode's gonna go a little longer. But we'll get through it. Master, the shard bearer. Ah, the captain of Crossroad Keep. It has been some time. Not nearly long enough. Then you dread this confrontation. I do not. You are a fool to have come here. You may stand atop the battlements now, but know that I have come to reclaim my former home. Seems to me that you didn't learn the first time that we fought here. Do you think your little towers are of any consequence? Crossroad Keep is but a stopping point for our king. Things have changed, Shardbearer. My king will soon tear through the confines of his prison. His power crosses such boundaries and may be granted to vessels of his choosing, like me. Uh oh. Is this meant to frighten me? No. My intention is to kill you. Fear is but sweet excess. Enjoy yourselves here while you can. I look forward to our next meeting, should you survive. And now, Captain, you will die. No time for questions, child. The enemy awaits. So it shall be. I'll focus on the Shadow Priest. And the Shadow Priest is dead. Coming to help, Casimir. The fact I had to run all the way around is kind of annoying. I think you guys got that skeleton archer easily. And it's dead. Captain, 
The bridges have been cleared. You did well. Now let us destroy them while we can. It was a fine sight to see you all, to see you all up there, however unexpected. Your gratitude is welcome, but again, we have little time. I had to come here, and I made the right choice. Father's instinct still has some value, it seems. So it would seem. Let's move the blast globes on the bridges now. Garius will have a harder time moving forward now. Let's return to the keep. Our victory shall be welcome news to the soldiers, and it is the first victory of many. The destruction of those bridges should help. Captain, I heard that you had just arrived. It is good to see you safe. It was a sound of victory, though not without cost. Despite our victory, we bring unwelcome news. Black Garius was present and possesses powers that can turn the battle in their favor. These are no normal undead. Even mere skeletons are deadly. Garius can empower the dead, making them stronger. With that power, even their weakest foot soldiers become a threat to us. Large they may be, but skeleton bones will still break, just as rotting flesh may still be pierced. They fell to our attacks today. Let them try to withstand the might of the keep. But this talk can wait for later. Come, you must all be hungry. Rest tonight. And we'll discuss today's events on the morrow. You are back. We were beginning to wonder with the sun so low in the sky. You... You are not seriously planning on fighting atop the walls, are you? I'd like to take the battle to them for once. I can understand. It's just... Well, it's risky. Sometimes I just wonder what's to be gained by you throwing yourself into situations like this again and again. I know the King of Shadows must be stopped, but I don't understand why it always has to be you. Look, come with me up to the castle walls. I want to show you something. Might put things in perspective. All right, lead on. Episode's going a bit long, but okay. Do you see the sky? The way the shadows twine themselves with the clouds with the wind. That will not last. It will grow stronger in time. The shadow will seep into the winds and into far lands. Not just in the mare. Not just in Neverwinter. Your battle is not simply for this keep, but for Faron itself. For its heart. I've known that for some time. I thought that such a task was my duty. Mine alone. But after what happened with the circle, and seeing how the shadows seeped into them, it reminded me how my strong connection to you kept me from the same fate. You see, I think that in the years that I watched you in West Harbor, maybe I wasn't neglecting the mare at all, but seeing what could save it. If only the Circle would realize it, that perhaps villagers dwelling with the land, that if one of them fought for it, if all of them fought as you did, then something greater could be achieved, <coughs> and I wanted to thank you. Now, before the battle comes for us again. I understand. Also, I fear that I have not always been honest with you. In all matters. I... care for you. Not friendship, but deeper. It runs powerfully within me, and I have tried to fight it for some time. But such things cannot be held silent for long. I'm sorry, but... My care for you is one of a friend for another, Eleni. Nothing more. I thought as much, but, but it felt good to say it. Friends it is, then. And such a friendship honors me. And such light helps drive the shadows away. If only for a time. <laughs> yes, it is possible to have a relationship with Eleni if you're a guy. Sir! Sir! It can't be much past midnight. What is it, soldier? I'm very sorry, sir, but Khan has asked you to meet her in the war room. The enemy army has been spotted in the fields outside the keep. Already we can see the siege towers being raised. Sound the alarms. We must be ready for battle soon. 
Indeed. And while we have all this loot, I need to do something about selling all of it. But yes, Eleni can be a, uh... Someone you can have a relationship with, if you're a male character. Although you can... It's hinted that you can also have a relationship with Chandra, even though she passes. And, uh... I was I believe it was intended that Nishka could be someone you could have in a relationship with, but that never panned out. If you're a woman, I think it's Tassavir that you can have a relationship with, but I'm not certain. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we're going to move on with the defense of the keep. This is going to be a big fight. Till then, I'm Chester 44, that is Travis Ignum. This has been a let's play of Neverwinter Nights. And I will see you all next time.